Welcome back to the channel. We out here in the junkyard. We're gonna put some uh, uh, back seats in my car. Uh, I don't think people, uh, one of y'all guys knew that I have took my back seats out because I want to switch my interior to all black because it looks cooler. After I saw this Sebring, don't like it. It's hot, humid, metal everywhere, and he's pushing the wheelbarrow. This bitch is hard to push too. One tire is bigger than the other. He's doing this. Oh, you feel it. You want to turn it. It turns easier to the left and the right. Uh, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, the the Sebring Coupe, the Coupes are the exact same as the Dodge Stratus and the 3G Eclipse. Like, this is the regular V6 that comes out of them. Oh, fuck. I forgot, to, I forgot to look at the hood for that one. Oh, whatever. Oh, whatever. Fuck it. Yes. Uh, same V6 that can come in the Stratus. He's, I believe, also had a four-cylinder. Um, but he took the back seats out of his car and I know I'm kind of taking over his video, but he's already working He took the back seats out of his car because we came and saw this car took a couple parts and he decided he wanted the black interior um, And this car other than the dirt these are all in really good shape like The front seats are definitely the worst, but there's only a small split right there All of these are still soft. It hasn't gone hard. The rear seats are in perfect condition uh, in a second, because that means I got a freaking... I mean, you can probably just sit on the seat in there. Yeah, probably. Uh, oh, shit! What the fuck? The dash is terrible, but that's every 3G or Stratus, every 3G Eclipse. Uh, and then a small tear right there. Other than that, these I are in good shape. And the, yeah, this is the same car that we took the fucking gauge cluster Yeah, we from. took the gauge cluster off and him the and the center console, because he needed the center console and the gauge cluster look cool. So, but as you can see, the interior is in pretty good shape. So eventually, are you gonna come and take like all the plastics and everything too? Think about it, the car is still here, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna be taking it in pieces cause it's been, not six months, but it's been a couple months. It's been like two or three months since we last came here. Um, we're gonna do it in pieces cause obviously it'd be a little expensive to take all of it and uh, space. But for now, we're just taking the rear seats. Here's the bottom of the rear seats super good shape they clean up well just gonna put a rag on them super soft because uh they're like uh they're not real leather they're the fake leather whatever you call it pleather uh that stuff goes hard a lot here in arizona and likes to just crack these are in perfect shape the main thing i'm sad about is it doesn't have all of the wheels i don't know if these are the stock wheels or not but i like these I think they look good on this car, but it literally, this is the only one here. Oh, don't forget the other Sebring that's over there. But those wouldn't be chrome, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think so, yeah. All right, so you want to tell folks what you're doing right now? Right now, as you can tell, I am taking the back seat out. I also want to point out, it's hot as a bitch in this car. Yeah, yeah, so I'll say just don't sit in here, and you can probably sell to see me that I'm sweating like a mug, like a mug right now. Oh, my finger is over there. I didn't even notice. Dang. Yay. Uh, you can see how dusty it is. You can see his handprint. Uh, and you said these top halves are heavy? Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, they're not that heavy, but they're all right. He's keeping his trunk gutted, which I was kind of like, no, let's take the trunk stuff. I'd just clean it up. Uh, except for this top piece is garbage, but that's a sign. I don't know why, but the trunk is full of sand. No, that's not like shit or anything. It's just sand. Oh, it's one seat. Oh, wait, no, no. Oh. <laughs> the other oh that way? Yeah. <laughs> also, there's a free exhaust here that he could have had. Seat number one. Oh, this one's not heavy, but this is the single seat. We did cop this wheelbarrow so that we didn't have to carry these. I'm excited for this. See, if y'all don't have a friend who's excited when your other friend gets freaking new stuff, <laughs> not a good friend, man. Ah! How did you do this time? My elbow touched the car. And it's hot. So the last time when I took these out, I know I ripped the hell out of these things. So I'm going to play it careful this time. So I won't break anything. Or just... Fuck it. Ow. And the sweat got my eyes. Yeah, my left eye is burning pretty good. Or my right eye. Oh, never mind. Oh, I just... Okay, never mind. Pops right out. Yeah. So this is weird, I've never seen that, where like there's a piece of seat that's separate from the rest of the seat. Yo, 
Uh, one cool thing too for him is these. Um, what? Do I have this on my seats? Oh, you don't have bolster adjustments. That's bullshit. <laughs> well, this is this Chrysler version. It's a little more luxurious. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But this is powered seats. Oh, oh, oh wait, I can't. I can't lift this up though. No, you could. All right, 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 right. But they're electric. I wonder if you have the plug, because if not, it's going to be a problem. I feel like this person had kids. Uh, yeah, you can see little, like... Yo, free Allen wrench, dog. You know, it's funny, mine had one in there, too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a factory-installed thing, you know? Broad. All right. Well, I think they get the gist of what we're doing and how to do it. So I'll quit recording for now until we get the seats out so I can at least be some help. So, you want to you wanna close out the clip, bro? Yeah, 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 um, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'll, we'll be right back. All right, we're at location H2. Oh, anyway, enough of that. We got back from the junkyard. There's a little Miss, Mrs. Darty over here. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. We got Mrs. Stratus. Oh, uh, uh, time to clean these seats and, and, and install them. Uh, uh, Package is secured. I wish you can find a place to prop the cam phone or something. Oh, you're a cameraman, I guess. It's my time to shine. Ah, uh, his time to shine. Okay. We got just a little bit of simple green. I'm not going to use too much. Just enough to kind of clean them up a little bit. Your regular old towel. Just to show how well these will clean up, too. Make the black shine. Like my skin. Yeah, make sure it, your car doesn't smell like a freaking pick and pull yard. They always have a distinct smell. True, plus the windows. The other windows were yeah, left window down. down. So, it doesn't uh, smell bad, but it just, it just yeah. smells like a pick and pull yard. It was raining, so. Yeah, just the other day. Shocker. Oh, yeah, the freaking, that uh, Eclipse Spider. Dude, sh straight up smelled like mold. Oh, yeah. It's not perfect. You clean them up a little more. But, see the, uh... yeah. somehow these are clean as hell in the back. Yeah, 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 somehow. Uh, I might just, while you clean, I just, I'll just install the big, oh, yeah, I forgot we got to clean the big one. We should clean the big one first. Yeah, no, I'm pulling it out right now. Okay. Okay, as you can tell in the other Sebring, this is the inside of my car. Uh, we also took this one, this, we took the gauge cluster from the Sebring, and we also took the middle part off the Sebring. That was like a while ago. Hmm. The bolts have not one single speck of rust on them. That's dope. Yeah. Clean bolts. Yee. Yee yee. <laughs> uh, here is my back seats. Okay, then we're going to install the big one right here. And I'll catch you in the next one, when in the next clip. All right, everyone. Uh, made it back to the house. Um, I completely forgot that I had to show you the back seats when I was installing them. But here are the back seats. They are installed. Um... This is how they look. They're very comfortable, better than the last ones I had on there. Um, the only thing that's weird is that the seat belts, they're, when I sit, my my butt is right on, on the seat belt. So, uh, and, but the thing is, I don't sit back there. So, that's coming for people who, who the hell is going to sit back there. But other than that, that's the back seats. Look really good. Let me uh, show you the trunk in the back. <laughs> you know, how to get some food. You know, we got the friends over, we got, you know, we're chilling. Um, I'm still keeping the trunk gutted. Um, so, yeah, I will put a spare back here with a jack stand just in case. And maybe some jumper jumper wires. Yeah, that's the back of the part right here. Um, I know that I took out mostly everything. I know that when I do move the seats, let me put you in my other hand, that the seats... Are not locked in so they were like they can move forward like that but there goes that my bad about that clip um the camera died but yeah the seats are in and it's fine um until next time i'll show you again the uh, next mod don't know what will be coming soon but hopefully i'm changing my interior all black and i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace